be, we're going to start the ceremony. So if um, family members can take a seat. This is done remarkably efficiently. We have a lot of award winners. Um, we could have triple the award winners with the talent um, that we have in this school system. Unfortunately, we have to limit it um, to the number of winners that we have. I'm David Title. I'm the superintendent of schools, by the way. Um, to my left is Phil Dwyer. He's the chair of the Board of Education. He's going to help me um, with the awards. We've got other board members scattered throughout the audience here to help recognize. Um, we will have an opportunity at the very end. Um, anybody who wants to come up for a picture um, with any of the dignitaries, um, we'll have some time at, at the very end. But we're going to try to move it, move it along here. So we start with um, the superintendent's awards. And this award is presented annually in conjunction with the Connecticut Association of Public School Superintendents. The criteria for selection is based on community service, academic prowess, leadership in the school community. So I'd um, like to invite our first award winner to come up, and then I'll speak about her. And this is Emma Johnson from Burr School. I do this so you get two rounds of applause. Okay. Uh, Emma is loved and respected by all of the teachers at Burr. She is always excited to learn new things and gives her best effort on all of her assignments. She's particularly proud that she has gotten every answer correct on every math assessment she has taken this year. How appropriate. <laughs> her community service work is widespread and includes raising money for Cesar Batella through a bake sale that she organized herself making flowers for the Carleton Rehabilitation Center during the holiday season and packing care packages for the military. Emma is a two-year member of the Student Council, a member of Burr's Safety Patrol, and the architect of the Cleaning Crew, a group dedicated to keeping Burr safe and clean. Congratulations, Emma Johnson. We'd like now to invite down to the front from Dwight Aaron Field. Many teachers and students recognize Aaron as a team player and a role model in the Dwight community. He is a responsible, courteous young man everywhere he goes. His empathy and compassion for others sets him apart from his peers. Outside of the classroom, Aaron is a well-rounded athlete as well. He's involved in the Fairfield Youth League for lacrosse where he plays midfield. His interest in soccer is shown in his participation with the Fairfield United Soccer Association. His good sportsmanship can be seen in his performance on various athletic teams and outside on the recess playground. In addition to committing himself to school and extracurricular activities, he contributes his time to various fundraising events with the Diabetes Research Institute. While he was in third grade, Aaron helped organize a walk through the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Aaron serves the community and makes a difference with the support of his loving family. Congratulations, Aaron. <laughs> Next up from Holland Hill, William DiPiano. Stand right here. Will sets an example of excellence in the classroom where he continually strives to be a responsible and respectful student and has made a huge impact on our school community. Will plays the baritone horn in the school band and is a member of the fifth grade job corps and safety patrol programs. He has also completed community service through Holland Hill Heroes by making blankets for children at the Boys and Girls Village in Milford and collecting canned goods for the Fairfield Food Pantry. Outside of school, Will participates on competitive sports teams for skiing, and swimming and is a member of both lacrosse and soccer teams. Through these sports, he has helped raise money for charities. He also creates and donates blankets to the Tiny Miracles Foundation, which assists the families of premature infants. Will began this project with his family at a young age because he and his twin sister were both born prematurely. During a recent visit to Costa Rica, Will used his own gift card to buy hats for students who attend a small school in the village. Will's welcoming smile and responsible actions demonstrate how much he truly enjoys helping others. Congratulations, Will. Okay. He has his own Holland Hill fan club. Right. Thank you, teachers. 
All right, from Jennings, Marissa Curdy, come on down. Jennings School is proud to have Marissa uh, Curdy as this year's recipient of the Superintendent's Award. Although new to our school, Marissa immediately made a positive impact. She represents her fifth grade class on the student leadership team and actively works to make school a better place. Most recently, she initiated a kindness campaign, which was a huge success. Marissa is a poised and articulate student who will be extremely successful in the future. She's busy out of school with talents that include acting, dancing, and singing. She has performed in local plays and even auditioned in New York City. She is a mentor to younger students and a great role model to all. Congratulations, Marissa. All right. Thank you, Jennings. From McKinley, Alexandra Ortiz. Alexandra is the exemplar of true character, leadership, and academic prowess. She is an asset to our community as she volunteers her time for events supporting the American Cancer Society, American Heart Association, and American Diabetes Association. She is a leader who consistently guides, sets good examples, and takes charge of situations involving her classmates as well as teammates on the basketball court and softball field. Ali demonstrates superior ability academically, is a hard worker, is always focused, and exceeds expectations in the classroom. She is truly deserving of the Superintendent's Award. Congratulations, Ali. Okay. Thank you, and thank you to McKinley staff. From Mill Hill, Riley McGoldrick. Riley is a highly motivated, self-directed student with an easygoing disposition. She frequently takes it upon herself to assist others in need. This happens in her school community as well as the greater community in which she lives. This year, she participated in Mill Hill's Hoops for Hope benefit basketball game, which raised $6,000 for the Special Olympics. Riley is a wonderful role model for her peers at Mill Hill. Congratulations, Riley. North Stratfield, Rebecca Cushel. Come on over here, Rebecca. Rebecca is a great role model who is a member of the North Stratfield School Student Council, Tiger Team. As a member of the Tiger Team, she has worked on fundraising projects for various community organizations and helps to organize student events and activities. Outside of school, Rebecca is an active member of the community. She belongs to the Fairfield United Soccer Association and participates in the Westport YMCA Water Rats program, where in addition to her athletics, she helps to raise money for children in need and for children with serious illnesses. Overall, Rebecca demonstrates strong leadership both academically and socially. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you, North Stratfield staff. From Osborne Hill School, Tatum Holderied. Tatum stands out from her peers in many ways. She is remarkably kind and generous and shows gratitude at every opportunity and stands out as a role model for us all. She is a creative and critical thinker whose questions motivate both her fellow students and her teachers. Tatum is a strong student in all of her classes and consistently gives 100% of herself in all that she does. She particularly excels in mathematics. Regarding community service, Tatum has accomplished more than some adults. What sets her apart in her St. Baldrick's fundraising is that she has raised over $10,000 in the past three years. At the age of eight, Tatum bravely and confidently was the first girl to shave her head. At school, as in life, Tatum values leadership in inspiring others. Tatum was selected as a fifth grade recess ambassador. This program values those who have leadership skills and work to foster inclusion and kindness at recess. She's received awards in both lacrosse and basketball to recognize her for displaying teamwork, effort, and good sportsmanship. Congratulations, Tatum.
From Riverfield, Holly Smythe. Holly is a prolific writer who enjoys writing about her family, her memories, and the world around her. Recently, she wrote a piece entitled Inclusion in the Future that discussed her thoughts about the importance of all students being included in all schools. She writes, quote, I think kids with special needs should go to regular schools because it benefits and provides experience for all kids and teaches them compassion and understanding, a quality there isn't always enough of in this world, unquote. Holly has worked with her twin brother, Nicholas, who has autism, to help him gain independence. She has supported her book buddies and participated in many of community events at Riverfield. She sings in the Fairfield Children's Choir and is well-liked by her peers. The staff predicts that she will be a peer mediator because of her empathy, patience, and willingness to help peers solve problems through classrooms and recess. Congratulations, Holly. Roger Sherman, Lindsey Perry, come on down. <laughs> Lindsey personifies everything you look for in a student. She is one of the most polite, friendly, and respectful students you'll ever encounter. Whether you are one of her best friends or someone sh who she's just met, she'll always greet you with a smile, speak to you in a warm, welcoming tone, and make you feel respected. We cannot think of someone who has ever displayed better manners. Her willingness to always help is on display daily. Her peers know her to be someone they can rely on and enjoy being with. She finds something positive in everyone. Following her example helps to bring out the good in those around her. Academically, you'll be hard pressed to find someone who works harder. She takes a great deal of pride in her work. She aims to please and will do anything that is asked of her. She is a true role model for those around, here, around her. Congratulations, Lindsay. And our last elementary winner, alphabetically, Stratfield School's Griffin Connolly. <laughs> Griffin is a hard-working student who comes to class each day with a positive attitude and a smile on his face. His classmates can always count on Griffin to cheer them up when they are down, help with them with a difficult problem, or involve them in a game at recess. Griffin also plays alto saxophone in the Stratfield Band and enjoys singing in our school chorus. Away from school, Griffin participates in baseball and tennis and is an active participant in his religious education class. One impressive quality he possesses is bringing out the best in everybody he is around, whether in school or outside of school. Griffin is a caring boy who deserves recognition for his leadership and desire to help others. Congratulations, Griffin. Thank you, Stratfield. Fairfield Woods is up uh, alphabetically because they begin with F, so <laughs> it's not W. Uh, Hayden Mattis. <laughs> Hayden has achieved high honors throughout middle school. She is a well-rounded student with interest in all academic subjects, but particularly enjoys math class. She has a desire to become a guidance counselor at the middle school level after college graduation. Good work. <laughs> She's a friend and peer mentor for students who have learning challenges and is recently participating in the Unified Talent Show and in guidance groups at Woods. She volunteers as part of the Torch Club at Wakeman Boys and Girls Club, preparing and serving meals at Prospect House in Bridgeport. Hayden plays the French horn, was in the ensemble of the school play, and has been an active member of the Fairfield United Soccer Association since fourth grade. Congratulations, Hayden. <laughs> Roger Ludlow, KC Dyes. Roger Ludlow Middle School is honored to select 8th grader Casey Dyes for the Superintendent Student Recognition Award. Casey makes a difference everywhere she goes, whether she is mixing lemonade for the last 11 years, hosting Alex's lemonade stand, to leading her class as the president of the National Charity League, to motivating her teammates on the basketball court. 
Casey does not go unnoticed. She is passionate, determined, and headstrong. She also works tirelessly on her schoolwork and achieves each goal she sets out for herself. Casey is a natural leader and a true Roger Ludlow top dog. Congratulations, Casey. Okay. From Tomlinson, Hannah Ullman. If you know Hannah, you know a young lady devoted to her community, her faith, and her education. Hannah contributes her impressive talent as a trumpet player to the Tomlinson School Band, as well as to the principal orchestra of Bridgeport's Youth Orchestra. Hannah has the heart of someone who wants to help others and does so through her work with Congregation for Humanistic Judaism in Fairfield County, her work with the Bridgeport Rescue Mission, and the Ronald McDonald House. Hannah is a student who takes pride in knowing she always tries her best and as a result meets tremendous success in the classroom. Congratulations, Hannah. All right, from the Walter Fitzgerald campus, Alexis Jardim. Alexis is one of our most respected students. Over the past two years, it has been amazing to watch her blossom into the confident and capable young woman that she is today. She is unassuming, caring, and compassionate, and is always willing to help others when there is a need. On account of her respectfulness, integrity, and sense of responsibility, Alexis has become a school leader and a positive role model for all students. Alexis is extremely bright, conscientious, and hardworking. She's an honor student who consistently maintains above average grades in all of her classes while holding down two part-time jobs in the community. She is currently involved in our community service internship program, working with elementary school children. Alexis has also been an integral part of our school fundraisers over the past two years and has helped raise money for the Daniel Trust Foundation. Alexis will graduate with her class at Fairfield Ward High School next year and plans to continue her education, most probably in the medical field. Alexis has overcome many personal obstacles to achieve her current level of success. Her accomplishments are a testament to her resolve and an indication of her commitment to education and overall growth. Congratulations. Fairfield Ludlow High School Warner House, Patricia O'Meara. <laughs> Upon meeting Patty, you will be immediately drawn to her warm smile and easygoing personality. During her first three years at Ludlow, Patty earned an impressive 4.42 GPA. Patty has taken a total of seven AP classes, including AP Calculus and two AP Science classes. As a junior, Patty was awarded the Brown Book Award as an AP Scholar and inducted into the National Honor Society. She is Vice President of the Tri-M and Math Honor Societies. Patty's accomplishments stretch beyond the classroom. She is part of the Ludlow Orchestra and Pitt Orchestra for school plays and is an accomplished pianist. Due to her musical talents, Patty obtained an internship as Assistant Musical Director at a local cabaret theater. Her long commitment to Irish dancing has enabled her and her team to win a national title and placing second at the World Championships. Patty takes advantage of every opportunity and seeks out challenges to become an outstanding student and person. Congratulations, Patty. From Webster House, Riley Blumenfield. Riley is one of the hardest working students both in and outside the classroom. Currently holding a GPA of 4.44, which places her at the top end of our senior class. She's routinely in our highest level classes and will have completed eight AP level courses by graduation, all of which she's excelled in. Riley's extracurricular involvements are extensive and include being captain of both the women's swim team and math team, class treasurer, a town youth council member, and co-founder of the Be Stigma Free chapter at Ludlow, which seeks to foster understanding and respect for people who are different. Riley also lectures about mental health awareness and suicide prevention all around Connecticut at schools and conferences, 
and is routinely given accolades for her incredible maturity and insightful message. In addition, last year Riley was selected to be one of six young women recognized by the Fairfield County Community Foundation's Fund for Women and Girls for their positive impact on the community. Congratulations, Riley. From Wright House, Zachary Angel. Zachary is a hardworking, genuine, smart, and exceedingly self-disciplined young man who has given more time, energy, and enthusiasm to student and community activities than most. Zachary's kind nature make him a natural role model for younger members of our varsity cross country and varsity boys tennis teams. He's been vice president for the class of 2016 for three years and was appointed president of the American Field Service Club, AFS. Zach's been busy fundraising and traveling to the central Appalachia region for an annual one-week service trip dedicated to preparing homes for low-income families. And last summer, he participated in a two-week community service project in Cuba. His trip included teaching English to students ages 5 to 60, restoring residences, and preparing meals for the elderly and disabled. His love for service continued this past February when he traveled to Ecuador for a Builders Beyond Borders service trip. Zachary's involvement and commitment in the school and community is unsurpassed, and he will make considerable contributions wherever the world takes him. Congratulations, Zachary. <laughs> At Fairfield Hello. Ward High School, Fitzhouse, Matthew Mosier. Throughout high school, uh, Matt has been an exemplary student athlete, citizen, and friend. His accomplishments are not only demonstrated through his exceptional grades and a multitude of honors and AP courses, but also through his work tutoring fellow students as a member of the National Honor Society and the Wakeman Keystone Club, a place where he serves as secretary and is currently a semifinalist for the Youth of the Year Award. Matt personifies the Fitzhouse mantra, first in service, in all he does, from offering guidance to new students as a ward advisor, to serving as captain of both the ski and tennis teams, to volunteering with Guiding Eyes for the Blind, where he socializes puppies in preparation for their formal training to become seeing eye dogs. Most impressive, though, has been Matt's leadership as president of the Circle of Friends Club for the past three years, a role that demonstrates his commitment to all people. Fitzhouse couldn't be more proud of Matt and all he's done to contribute to the rich diversity of our community. Congratulations, Matt. From Pequot House, Nicole Villalone. <laughs> Fairfield Ward is delighted to acknowledge a student who is not only an artist, a musician, and an academic, but a kind and caring person as well. Nicole is a true leader who distinguishes herself from many of her peers through her many acts of kindness and mentorship. While managing a rigorous academic program, Nicole acts as the secretary to Autism Speaks and regularly supports students with disabilities by volunteering three times per week at one of our elementary schools. And Nicole's commitment to mentoring and leadership does not end there. She acts as a role model to our freshmen by participating as a student advisor in our ninth grade transition program and is employed as a youth coordinator for the local Boys and Girls Club. Finally, Nicole's contributions as art editor to our literary magazine and her participation in the Fairfield County Children's Choir are testament to her dedication to the arts. We are proud to have such an accomplished, well-rounded, and compassionate person representing the highest ideals of our school as she leaves to begin a new chapter of her life following graduation. Congratulations, Nicole. <laughs> From Townsend House, Samantha Miller. Samantha is a poised, motivated, mature student who is committed to academic excellence and portrays our school's mission, I knew this was going to be in here, of being welcoming, academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical. Jim Coyne would be proud. She has earned a 4.63 GPA and participated in several AP classes, including 
AP language and composition, AP statistics, AP calculus AB, AP biology, and AP psychology. In addition, Samantha is a member of the National Honor Society, vice president of the Key Club, president of the Circles of Friends Club, and a recipient of the Brown University Book Award for Excellence in English. In her free time, Samantha enjoys volunteering at Bridgeport Hospital, helping nurses with daily tasks such as food delivery, room arrangements, discharge procedures, and making patients smile. Townsend House is, a very, pr is very proud of all of Samantha's accomplishments. She is well deserving of the Superintendent's Recognition Award for 2016. Congratulations, Samantha. We now move to the CABE Awards. The CABE Student Leadership Award is presented annually in conjunction with the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education. Criteria for selection is based on exemplary leadership skills. And we um, have uh, a couple students from each of the uh, schools, of the secondary schools, who um, receive this award. So our first recipient, uh, back to Fairfield Woods, is Kylie Holderreed. Kylie excels in all she does and is a bright star at Fairfield Woods. She has earned academic honors each marking period during her three years in middle school. Kylie loves to give back to others, especially to those peers who experience personal challenges. She's a peer mentor to students at Woods and volunteers to assist students each week in the adaptive physical education class. Kylie is a gifted athlete playing for the Fairfield Fury All-Star soccer team and was part of the team that won the state championship in 2014. This past summer, Kylie was the national champion of Major League Baseball's pitch, hit, and run competition in the 11 and 12-year-old division. She won this competition at Cincinnati's Great American Ballpark during last July's All-Star Game, where over 625,000 kids competed around the country. Yeah. She's a wonderful student, gifted athlete, and a friend to all. She'll make a wonderful addition to the freshman class at Fairfield Ludlow next year. Congratulations, Kylie. Water break. All right, John Klein. Come on down, John. John is an exemplary student earning academic honors each marking period during his career at Fairfield Woods. He has a passion for helping others and community service. As the president of the Torch Club at Wakeman Boys and Girls Club, Jack has helped out in many community endeavors, including preparing and serving meals at the Prospect House in Bridgeport. He recently played the lead in the school play, 13, it was incredible by the way, showcasing his singing and acting talents as Evan. He has a strong interest in politics and hopes one day to make a difference as a lawyer or by serving in the government. Not surprisingly, his favorite subject in school is social studies, and Jack has recently participated in the National History Day competition at Sacred Heart University, producing a documentary about Ralph Nader. Jack is very active in his church, St. Thomas, and will follow in his father's and brother's footsteps by attending Regis High School in Manhattan next year as a freshman. Jack is a superstar of Fairfield Woods, an all-around nice guy. Jack, congratulations. So Roger Ludlow, we have Josephine Keck. Josephine's commitment to family, community, and learning is truly admirable. Josephine's empathy and care for others starts at home with her loving family. It then extends to her school and the community through Girl Scout service projects, volunteering at the Fairfield Public Library, and participating in student-led character education at the school. Josephine is also a talented musician, artist, and runner. In an essay she wrote about her accomplishments, Josephine beautifully said, quote, I am an optimist, life is good, and we can all be a part of making the world a better place, unquote. Congratulations, Josephine. and Andrew Delangelo from Roger Ludlow. Andrew is a true friend in its purest form. 
has been a weekly lunchtime companion to a friend with special needs. He is also eager to volunteer outside of school with our special needs population and encourages others to do the same. In addition, Andrew participates in a student-led character education program at school. He is also one of Roger Ludlow Middle School's basketball team's biggest fans and supporters. He is kind, loyal, committed, and a great role model for all. Congratulations, Andrew. Rhonda Tomlinson, so Haley Goodrich, come on down. <laughs> Haley is a member of the Tomlinson Middle School Chamber Choir and the Chamber Orchestra. Outside of school, Haley participates in the Fairfield County Children's Choir. She plays lacrosse and enjoys skiing. She's also a member of the National Charity League, a mother-daughter service organization where she participated in many community service experiences in just one year. She strives to be a leader in group projects by making sure everyone has a role that fits his or her abilities and strengths. She also puts forth her best effort into all of her schoolwork, which she believes helps her to be a positive role model for others. Congratulations, Haley. And also from Tomlinson, Sion Orr. Sion is a young man who exemplifies all that it means to be a model citizen and a passionate learner. He brings to class a wealth of background knowledge and a curiosity beyond his years. Sion is an accomplished athlete who participates in baseball, hockey, and golf, and is very aware of what these sports have taught him about the games themselves and also about life in general. Sion possesses tremendous self-discipline that earns the respect of all who know him. Congratulations, Sion. All right, we're on to uh, Ludlow High School. First up is Regan Steed. Who we rescheduled an entire lacrosse game so she could be here tonight. Regan Steed stands out among the best and brightest students at Fairfield Ludlow High School. She's a serious student who pursues her passions with focus, determination, and an unparalleled work ethic. Perhaps more importantly, she is a kind, thoughtful, and compassionate individual who treats everyone she encounters with respect and open-mindedness. Her personal integrity and self-discipline are apparent in her academic and athletic performance. Regan continually evaluates, analyzes, and adjusts her strategies to improve her performance in the classroom, on the court, and on the field. A three-season varsity athlete, she exhibits a tireless work ethic and extraordinary leadership skills. Her athletic prowess is best demonstrated in her being a varsity starter on the lacrosse team in the ninth grade, even though she had not played prior to high school. What is most impressive about Regan is not her athletic ability, but rather her passion and her willingness to dedicate her time to helping others enjoy sports. For four years, she has been a peer mentor in our unified sports program, practicing every Friday with athletes with disabilities and helping them compete in tournaments with other schools in soccer, track, and basketball throughout the year. Uh, congratulations, Regan. Mm -hmm. And our other recipient from Fairfield Ludlow, John Gerber. John continues to take some of the most difficult classes Fairfield Ludlow High School has to offer. He has shown academic growth each and every year, he is a very bright young man, and has a strong work ethic. He has the ability to problem solve and seeks extra help when he needs it. In addition to his strong academic record, John consistently looks for opportunities to be a leader at Ludlow. He has run four and one class president all four years in high school. Started the ultimate Frisbee team, which I understand just won the state tournament. Another team was voted team captain of the cross-country team by his peers, and he is the president of the Boys and Girls Club, Keystone Club for Public Service. John has accomplished many great things at Fairfield Ludlow High School. Congratulations, John. <laughs> at Fairfield Ward High School, Danielle Altschiller. She 
Danielle was one of our very best talented students at Fairfield Ward. She is a bright young lady known for her sincerity, warmth, and genuine good nature and her endearing smile. Her course load has been challenging with AP Economics, AP Statistics, AP Physics, AP Calculus, AP Biology, and AP Spanish. Do you sleep? <laughs> in addition, she practices and teaches dance 25 hours a week. She participates in numerous events and concerts to raise funds for AIDS and breast cancer research. She is a member of the Yearbook Club and Circle of Friends, as well as the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society. All this, and Danielle maintains a GPA of 4.4. We are very proud that Danielle is the Cave Award winner as she exemplifies all of the school core values. Here we go again. Welcoming, academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical. Congratulations, Danielle. And Harper Wise, you're our final recipient of the evening. Harper displays tremendous energy and enthusiasm for all he does here at Ward. Everyone enjoys being involved with him. His positive attitude, motivation, and work ethic are admired by teachers and students at our school. His academic schedule has been rigorous and challenging with AP American Studies, AP Physics, AP Modern European History, AP Statistics, AP Spanish, and AP Literature and Composition. All this with a semester abroad studying in Israel and maintains a GPA of 4.3. He's a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish National Honor Society, and the Tri-M Music Honor Society. He's been in every drama and musical production since ninth grade, and this year was the lead in our spring musical. Harper is the captain of the varsity debate team, founder and president of the Ward Debate Society. He is a member of the Focus newspaper staff as editorial editor. Harper is also a member of the varsity boys swim team. All of this at school, and he is currently first vice president of the National Federation of Temple Youth for the Northeast Region. Bravo to another Cable Ward winner who is a shining example of Ward's mission and, I would add, the Fairfield Public Schools. Thank you, and congratulations, Harper. And I would thank all of the award winners again for all you have done for the Fairfield Public Schools. You make us and your family is very proud. I would also like to give a shout out to all the family members who are here. We know that without your support and guidance and prodding and occasional uncomfortable conversations, none of this could have happened. So congratulations to everybody. That concludes our ceremony. If anybody would like to stay for a few minutes and do pictures, if we could do that fairly quickly. We do have a Board of Education meeting that's supposed to start at about eight minutes. Um, so thank you all for coming and congratulations to all the award winners. <laughs>